Hello, it's Kathy, the art teacher. Today's drawing video is about how to make a leaf resist painting. The tutorial comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I do hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's in the corner. It helps me make more of these. Now here's a very easy way to make a striking work of art with just a marker, crayons, and watercolor paint. This project is perfect for young artists. You just need to draw a big leaf, fill it with patterns on the inside and outside, and then paint over everything with watercolor paint. It's so simple and yet looks so pretty. Let's get started. The supplies you need for this project are watercolor paper, a pencil, black permanent marker, crayons, and watercolor paint. You can also download this matching PDF tutorial from my website. I really like the liquid type of watercolor paint, by the way, and use this yellow along with orange, green, blue, red, and purple. Step number one. First, draw a very long pencil line that goes from corner to corner of the paper. Step number two. Now draw about four large V shapes that are sitting on that line. Spread them out so there's room in between. These are gonna be the veins of the leaf. Step number three. Starting at the top, draw the leaf fingers with a dip in between each line. Try to make the tops of each finger touch the end of each line. Now draw the left side of the leaf the very same way. The dip in between doesn't always have to be the same, it can vary. The next step is tracing this simple leaf with a permanent black marker. Make sure that it's a permanent black marker so it doesn't bleed when it gets wet. And be sure to press hard to get a nice black line. Step number four. Now all those closed leaf shapes need to be filled in with crayon patterns. I'm starting with lines, but you could draw any pattern you want. My next section is gonna be filled in with lots of loop-de-loop -loop lines. Press hard so that all these lines show up really well. And I'm going to switch to a new color so I have lots of variety. Step number five. Swirls are a really fun shape to draw. I'm going to switch to an orange crayon and start drawing them here. You can draw them all different sizes to fill in all those corners. Step number six. Now switch to another pattern. I'm going to do a kind of loop-de-loop -loop with a red crayon. Feel free to change colors anytime you want. The more colors, the better. I'm gonna finish with stripes again, but using a yellow crayon this time. Remember to press hard. Those light colors really need extra pressure to show them off. Step number seven. Now it's time to add your favorite shapes to the background. You can certainly change crayon colors here too. Just be sure to continue to press hard. Step number eight. Now, to add a little more energy around the leaf, draw a loose outline around the entire shape. Next, add another outline with another color. It doesn't need to be perfect. The more wobbly the line, the better. And now add a third outline in another color. If the line goes off the page a bit, that's just fine. The goal is to have the paper filled with lots and lots of colorful crayon lines. Step number nine, now it's time to paint. This is what liquid watercolors look like in case you're not familiar with them. Start by filling in the leaf with your favorite color and washing the brush in water in between so the colors stay nice and clean. If you make each section a different color of paint, it will really show off all those patterns. I'll do the same for the outside of the leaf, just painting large blotches of color. It's okay if the colors overlap a little bit. This will let them bleed together in a really pretty way. Do try to keep the overlapping to a minimum though, so you still have lots of the original color left too. 
Too much mixing of colors can make things start to turn brown and not quite as bright. And that's it. This leaf resist painting is done. See how pretty it is when the colors run together to make their own shapes? That's what watercolors do really well, and this project is the perfect lesson to try that out for yourself. Hey, thanks for following along with me, and I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial. I do have even more tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a leaf and how to draw a tree. I hope you check them out too. See you next time.